Do it, Captain. Anderson? Do it. Do it up. I didn't say. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam. This is HMO4 Gaming. Welcome you back to Mass Effect. In the last episode, we wrapped up Vermeer. We lost Ashley Williams. Let's pour one out for her. And in this episode, we're going to check in with the crew because at this point, we are in the end game, ladies and gentlemen. And before we get started, please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. And let's see what Caden has to say about uh, Ashley being gone. After we stare at each other for a little bit. Anything you need, Commander? Personal input? All about Williams. I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, sir. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. You and me both. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? Vowed to do better. It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah, I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, sir. And uh, I kind of had my fingers behind my back. No, Ashley, she, she's a good character in her own way. Too little bit uh, uh, speciesist. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. We'll talk another time. Oh, so he had like really nothing. <laughs> really nothing. Uh, let's see if Liara has anything to say. Probably not. Probably the same stuff we always had. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Of course. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Um... Yeah, that's a good point. I don't think we ever know. Probably power, but we'll never know. Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. No, there's really nothing else. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. And let's check down with our crewmates in the cargo hold. Well, the garage, technically. Garrus, my man, do you have anything? Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. Damn and right. I've been thinking about Dr. Salium too. I convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Is that it? Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. If the people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. Oh, Garrus is just growing up before I eyes. That's great, Garrus. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. And Garrus is all grown. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Rex, you have anything? Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. 
They'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. And just the regular so stuff as well. Shepard. And then this is a one-off. If you do everything you can possibly do to help out Captain Carahy, well, here's a bunch of his soldiers here. If you dicked him over, he'd be dead if you didn't do any of the side stuff. So, you know, we disrupted their communication. We destroyed some of their backup drones. We disrupted their shielding, I think, something. I forget what the third one was. But hey, Captain, what's going on? It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Oh, this might be a stretch. We all face through tough choices. She knew what the risks were. Any of my officers would have done the same. Of course. The Ooh, that was really that colder than I expected. Accept. Oh, well. Rest assured, Commander. My men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. And, and yep, as soon as... opportunity to work together again someday. And we shall, all the way in Mass Effect 3, possibly. And, you know, the commander, he doesn't really have anything. He just, the shop. And last but not least, let's check in with Tally. Didn't really care about all the other guys, Engineer Adams and all that. They have got fluff story. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. Hope so. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. An important part. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. <laughs> We're wasting time. <laughs> You've earned it. You're welcome. I'm going to miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. See you later. All right. And with all of our crew talked to and followed up with, I think we can finally move on. Let's head up to the galaxy map. Forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. It's a trap! I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. So, yep, we were brought back to the Citadel to basically get, get dicked over by Odina. He doesn't believe anything we've said. He just said, oh, you destroyed the facility. Saren's on the run. Now we're going to go after Saren. Reapers? What well, Reapers? Shut up, Shepard. Get, get, get the hell out of here. What about the Reapers? Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. Uh, all right, well, send me after. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You know, with my you stealth ship. You detonated your device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. And it's kind of funny that they know all about Ilos. They know what it is. You mean to tell me that no one found anything like what it is? Like, we know what it is. It has a name. But nobody landed on it. Nobody looked around the ruins and found anything whatsoever at all. <laughs> what about the conduit? Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Can you send... 
or is this going down the same line? One ship going into the terminal. You detonated a new... Your nope, style yeah, served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize No, you don't. That. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Like, I'm a specter. I should be able to still, you know, whatever above the law. And yeah, you son of a bitch. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this with my help, of course. I, I don't understand, like, what kind of um, information they got. Like, we destroyed Saren's facility and we have all this info. So what are they doing? <laughs> exactly? Hello, Liara. Commander. Shepard. I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. Well, Liara, you know the you're serious when you have your you crazy everything, eyes. Everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. Can't trust politicians. I should have known better. Udina, the council, they're all the same. Petty, blind, and stupid. Yeah. Perhaps we could <laughs> appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I don't like any of these, but I guess I tried. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? Not a chance. We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. I oh, appreciate it. Ooh! Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Another time. Were you listening in? Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. Uh -huh. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Captain Anderson. All right. So I didn't show the little side quest that I just did. Uh, basically, a dude wanted me to go get him drugs from the med bay. I told him he should get help. He agreed. I got XP, and we're here talking to Captain Anderson. I'm glad you came, sir. I heard that. Regina sold me the out. Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. And what happens to you? If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. What about my crew? Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy is your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. It's too dangerous. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He will not just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Quote ambassador unquote something. will not forget this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer. 
or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. So essentially, if he goes to Citadel Control, it'll work. Either way, it works, so it doesn't really matter. But if he goes to Citadel Control, he gets shot. So we, we don't want Captain Anderson to get shot. You decide he defaults to breaking in the office, which is the safest and the most satisfying. <laughs> and you'll see why. Break into his office. F that guy. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? So I think I'm all set up at this point. I have the best equipment that I can buy. I looked around the shops. There's really still nothing that great. Um, I completed all the side quests that I definitely wanted to complete. The only ones that I really didn't complete were just stuff like the collectibles, which... Eh... I mean, it's not really that important, it's just more money and XP, which <laughs> I think I have enough money and XP to last a lifetime and definitely enough to go into Mass Effect 2. Um, and I think we are ready, Captain. Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Let's do this. I really wish it just teleported me back to the Normandy. That probably would have been so much better. Hey, good to see another human. Do it, Captain. Anderson? Do it. Do it up. I didn't say. <laughs> Hell yeah. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too, and what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail, I promise. Please. I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Just tell me what to do. By the goddess, that was incredible, Shepard. I don't know what kind of face I had on before, but boy, let's go again. <laughs> oh God. Okay. So for YouTube purposes and for just general, you know, whatever, if you want to see the full thing, uh, look it up online because, yeah, I didn't want to really keep that in there. Not really appropriate. Channel has a bunch of M-rated games, but, you know, you got to keep it to that point. So were you. <laughs> yes. You were incredible. Five oh minutes boy. ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say thank you for everything.
Uh, Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors say, picked us up yet? Get ships. Stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop Look us again. The you need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option, it's a suicide run. We don't- Caden, relax. I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. Get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. All right. So obviously the Mako itself is. Whoa! Hello, dude. He got destroyed. Yeah, we're we got end game equipment right now. You guys are just gonna get. Oh man, we are too strong for you. I don't know why this thing goes like dead in like two seconds. have to make our way to the control center to oh ooh, hello buddy um are you guys gonna wake up or yeah, watch out for the armatures ooh boy they hurt a lot shield boost out my shotgun. There we go. There we go. We gotta watch out for those dudes. Alright, took me a second, but hey. Oh shit. I am being shot. <laughs> Let's pull out my shotgun. Taking out these guys. Get in there, guys. Jesus. Alright, moving on here, clearing out all these geth. Alright, 
Alright, we finally found the door. To an elevator. We're being jammed by who? terrible at the freaking creepy crawly guess. Good thing my teammates are much better at being accurate than me. Ooh, he got smashed and obliterated and then jumped. Oh. Enemies everywhere! I can't find anybody. <laughs> Alright, now I found the right elevator. help. I remember this room being friggin' nasty. And this should help immensely. Get them my armatures. Oh god. Nope. 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 Max shields. Hey, there we go. There's another one. Why am I crouching? I don't need... I don't need Omni Gel. Screw it. Get them my own armatures. There we go. And now these are just my armatures now. They serve me. Alright, let's head up to the command center. Come, Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. I can understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Well, that's ominous as all hell. All right, and with that, the door is now open, so we can get back into our tank and proceed forward to hopefully stop Saren. 
Let's head back to the Mako. All right, now we can show them who's boss by getting into our Mako. I have spent my life studying the Prophians, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why. Zarin, find a way to the entire galaxy. I thought that was a door. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have... What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of container? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something oh, Jesus. must have gone. Something indeed. But first we have enemies. Oh, jeez. I like how they're playing the Mass Effect music, the title screen music. Hey, Brids. Goodbye, Brids. <laughs> Moving on. Ooh, that doesn't look good. What is happening? I do not think Saren is behind this. Well, we're being shuffled towards this one little corridor. Let's see what's going on. And prepare to see probably one of the best moments in the entire Mass Effect franchise is when we meet a small electronic doodad here on the planet of Ilos. I have studied the Protheans for decades, but I have never felt this sense of foreboding. What will we find down there? <laughs> you and the player too, Liara. And with that, we meet the VI known as Virgil. Hey Virgil, what's up? Long time no see. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. It looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communications since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. I also want to point out that I don't know if this was always like this in the original version, but if you have epileptic seizure problems, please do not look directly at Virgil or Vigil, whatever, uh, he kind of blinks a lot. Uh, what are you? Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through and all you know will be destroyed. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't get in trouble for that. I know uh, Cyberpunk 2077 had something that they got shit for it, but man, Vigil, Vigil's messing with my eyes. Uh, Citadel is a relay? How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. 
Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and threw it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you had surrendered, they might have let you live. No that offer chance. of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare. Harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. 
Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? I mean, it was monstrous, but I can see how it was necessary. You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I well, saved key enough. personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Can you help me? Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. What happened to the survivors from the conduit project? They use the conduit to gain access to the Citadel, but the conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. And they didn't also take the time to put somewhere in the Citadel's, like, computers to say, Hey, future races, uh, the Reapers, real. I mean, even if they slide a slow and painful death, it's gonna take a while, so I would assume they would have put some contingencies, but I guess peach posh to that. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now, the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. I would say you're right. It might know something useful. I will provide whatever information I can. My data banks, however, are limited to information directly related to stopping the Reaper invasion. Oh, this is just asking more stuff. Time to go. I've got the file. Come on. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you Ooh, hurry. Man, look away. Alright. Renegade 2? Why? What the hell did I say? Oh well. And I think in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we will be wrapping up Mass Effect proper. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit like, hit subscribe, do all those things on down below. But until next time, I have been Adam, this has been HMO4 Gaming, and this has been Mass Effect, here in the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I hope you join me for the finale in the next episode. Thank you very much. Have yourselves a great day.